What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pulse Review, where you get a quick take on the hottest products. And today, we're gonna to be diving into a couple of products using some UV sanitization technology. Very interesting stuff here. Before we get into that, I wanted to address why are you in your kitchen? Well, very good question. And the answer to that is, I felt like it, really no other reason. And uh, I also wanted to try some delicious guacamole that I had prepared for myself. So um, I'm just gonna take a little dip in here and then we'll dive right in. UVC light, very cool new technology is probably going to be blowing up over these next few years in sanitization. You've probably heard of ultraviolet radiation. It tans your skin, you go to the tanning bed, yada, yada, yada. It's a different kind of light than that, okay? So what's so cool about this light is that it disinfects any surface that it hits. Depending on how long it's exposed to the light is how many germs or bacteria, viruses get destroyed by the light. To be able to sanitize stuff with just shining light on it, pretty cool if you ask me. But that's what's going on in both these products. And without further ado, let's get into the breakdown and see which one is the better product. This is the Auto Lives, or Auto Lives, however you say it. You got the front of the box here, got a few call outs on top. Very basic packaging. It says quick charge. Oh, maybe it charges your phone. Mobile phone wireless charging sterilization box. You have it right there, charges your phone. And then on the side, you have a few more features. I don't know if you guys can read that. Double sterilization, wireless charging, aromatherapy, purification. Aromatherapy, purification. Okay, that'll be interesting to check out. Multi-purpose, enjoy a healthy life. All right, and that's all we got on that bad boy. Pulling it out of the box, okay. Interesting, not gonna lie, very, right off the bat, just feeling a little bit cheap. You know, you can tell it's a little cheaper product. Um, it just kind of feels a little bit hollow, plasticky, not, not so high quality, but you know, we'll see what the feature set is like, okay? Last thing, oh, you know, you've got to have your product manual. Can't leave that out. Um, why don't we open that up, though, make sure it's in English. Before disinfection, use the equipped straw to drip two or three drops of perfume into the aromatherapy hole in the box for aromatherapy disinfection. Aromatherapy disinfection, wow. But it's saying drop in perfume. Might make your phone smell good, or whatever you put in there, I guess. We have plugged it in. It is now lit up red. I'm going to flip this bad boy open. And I need to go grab my phone. I have my test phone here, Google Pixel 2 XL, okay. Not your biggest phone, but decent size. And I think we're ready to test this bad boy out. I even have filled up one of the applicators with some essential oil, cinnamon scented, guys. Cinnamon. So. I don't know about you, but I've always wanted my phone to smell like cinnamon. Just kidding, I, I never wanted that. Put the phone in, close it, and I hold it for the 18 minute cycle once. Now we have to wait 18 minutes. It has been 18 minutes, 18 long minutes, and my phone has been sanitized. I've already taken it out of the case. It's right here. As you can see, Still dirty, still has smudges on it and everything, but all of the bacteria, germs, viruses, whatever you want to call them, that microscopic bad guys are dead on my phone, according to this. Now, I don't really have anything to prove that. I just have to take the product's word for it. So that's a little bit weird. I even dropped a couple of essential oil drops from a cinnamon scented essential oil into the reservoir and you know what? I 
I think my phone smells like cinnamon. So that's great. We're gonna move on to the Hometics UV Clean Phone Sanitizer. I'm liking this packaging a lot more. You have this beautiful purple color on there. I like that, I dig it. It's got nice artwork on the front. You're showing all the germs that are on your nasty, nasty phone. Everyone has a nasty phone. We all take them into the bathroom with us and, uh, you know, swipe through our Instagram feeds while pooping. They're probably gross. And then it has a few call outs of, you know, all the different places your phone could get dirty. The dirty airport, bathroom break, gym locker room, coworker sneeze. E. coli and your next cold are all on your phone. Let's see, we have a little, kind of opens up like a booklet there. That's kind of nice. There's a little Velcro snap action going on. And you get a little bit more info about how this thing functions. So that's cool. It says your cell phone is 18 times dirtier than a toilet seat. That's pretty gross. Cleans in 30 seconds per side. Wow. Considering that the other product took 18 minutes, that's pretty freaking fast. And it looks like they're showing somebody in a, you know, on the go, putting it in their purse. So let's actually take it out of the box. All right, we got that product manual, Homedics. Cool. Won't read it. Man, it kind of feels nice. It's got this like kind of faux leather feel to it. Yeah, I mean, I, I can dig it. Yeah, so I'm gonna unzip this bad boy. Kind of dive in here, pop it open, look it inside. This is what we got going on. Looks like a nice reflective side in here to bounce the light around. Probably gets you better coverage is what I'm guessing. The two LEDs on either side. I see there's a couple of tabs right here. Pull those up. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, so here's the... Hey, I like that. I'm just gonna do that a few more times. On top there is a power button and a little tab that you can flip back open and it's got the micro USB. Cool, let's put my phone in. Kinda just rest right in there, I close it, zip it up. Oh, it's got this little like magnetic snap feature going on. So when the, the zipper tab kinda clings right there, that's cool, okay. I'm gonna hit power button, hold it down. We start flashing blue. It is supposed to clean in 30 seconds. So I guess we'll wait 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds is up. I'm gonna take it out. Flip sides. And hit the power button again. Okay, it's done. Took it out. Like that, man. 60 seconds and we're done. Okay, let's compare these two boys. You have the Homedics UV Clean Sanitizer. It cleans in 60 seconds and it is portable. You can collapse it down. It holds a charge, so it doesn't need to be plugged in through operation. So you can take it on the go wherever you want. Here's the Auto Lives, slightly cheaper price point, and it is a bigger unit, not portable because it does need to be plugged in. And if you open it up, it is kind of just an all plastic interior and exterior. Not very pretty to look at, but there's some interesting features it has. Um, you can put in your choice of aroma into the aroma diffuser and have your phone or whatever belonging you fit inside there smell like whatever your perfume smells like. So there's that. It will charge your phone if your phone has wireless charging capabilities. So that's kind of a cool feature because your phone's gonna be in there for a long time with this one. It's gonna be in there for 18 minutes if you do the 
phase one cleaning. If you do phase two cleaning, for a better clean, I guess, it's 30 minutes long. I'm gonna say this one's the winner by far. I mean, it's portable, it sanitizes way faster, 60 seconds. And yeah, it is a little bit pricier, but you get a premium feel to it. It's a brand name. You know, there's gonna be customer service. You know, I, I'm not really sure about this one, you know? I'm, I'm, it's very plasticky, it's kind of cheap. Feature set doesn't really do it for me. Um, and the biggest thing is I have to have it plugged in while I sanitize, so don't like that very much. So if you guys are interested in sanitizing your phone in 60 seconds using zero chemicals, zero wipes, pick one of these up. You can get it on Homedic's website. You can get it on Amazon. I'll have a link to both below in the description so you can pick it up down there. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you like this type of content and you want to get more. That's it, guys. See ya.